Hey guys, it's Corey with uh, Colorado Cold Bloods. Um, so at a certain point, you're probably gonna reach a number of ball pythons and um, it's it's gonna get more expensive to uh, be purchasing the rats. So you're gonna want to uh, kind of supplement that to some extent, uh, whether it's a rack or two or something of uh, breeding your rodents. So one thing I wanted to uh, kind of share with folks is uh, a little bit uh, about our rats. I'm not gonna necessarily show you how I build the racks, um, but definitely feel free to message me. I'm happy to uh, share some, some good uh, DIY links on, on how to build the racks, uh, everything like that. Uh, what I wanna show you is, um, so one of our racks was um, still on water bottles. So I'm actually uh, adding an additional watering system like I have for most of the rest of them. So with that, uh, I'm gonna kinda show you how I set up the watering system. Uh, the components that I purchased from uh, reptile basics and so that way when you go to order them this is basically the setup for one rack with the exception of this tubing this tubing I buy by the hundred foot roll uh, just because that way if I ever have to swap any out or anything like that uh, you're you're already covered um, one of the things I will point out when buying the tubing as far as the tubing you do want you don't want clear tubing on there you want to have the opaque black tubing um, I don't think Reptile Basics sells any other, but whenever you're looking for tubing, you want the black tubing. One of the reasons being is if you have the clear tubing, having the clear tubing lets light in. What happens when you let light in is that it can grow algae or other things like that that uh, basically help to uh, clog up your lines. Um, so black tubing is ideal. Um, a few of the other components here. So the uh, the pieces for one rack, again, this is a six bin rack. So uh, first and foremost, you'll see this little thing just kind of sitting by itself. What that is, is actually your quick release from your water bucket. So as you can see, water comes out. So that is your, uh, your quick release. So your tubing is gonna plug onto that and then feed down to your rack. So when you wanna go fill the bucket or pull the bucket down, clean out the bucket, any gunk that you might get in there or anything like that, you can basically just pop that out, just twist it off, and then it comes right out. Quick release. So, next thing, I always, always, always suggest having these filters in there. You may want to buy a couple extra of these. Um, it takes a while for them to get gunked up and everything like that, but this keeps other gunk that may be in your water bucket out of your water lines. So, it catches it on, if you can hopefully see it, there's a little bit of wire mesh in there. That filters out any of the larger gunk that could get in the lines and clog up your nozzles. Um, so definitely highly suggest having that. Now you're going to notice that the water flow is not as strong with these. So whenever you're starting to get too much gunk in there, you're going to lose more of that water pressure. So once you lose more of that water pressure, obviously not as much water is getting to your rodents. So you want to make sure that you're checking that or try and clean it out or blow it out once in a while, that kind of thing. Next piece, um, you're gonna want a T-square for each one of your bins. So if you have a two bin rack, you want two. If you want, if you have a five bin rack, you want five. Four, four, obvious. Okay, so one per bin. Reason being is line's gonna feed to it. This line's gonna come off with some tube. Go to your nozzles. The nozzles are one per bin, basically from there. The reason that I use a T-square at the bottom is because then you can feed it to a drain. This drain is simple, similar to the, the quick release valve that I showed you before. Basically just twists, pops off. What that does is that's a quick drain at the bottom. So you can use that to basically drain out any extra gunk, anything like that, uh, get the water flowing again, create airflow. Okay, so that's quick drain system. Um, obviously one nozzle per bin that you plan to have for the rats. What these ones are is these are the clasps that go to your wire mesh on top. So these just pinch in place and hold the water onto the wire so that way your rats can't pull it down into the bin. Lastly, there are your clamps. These clamps basically are just to go around the tubing like so. and then you can screw it to any of the wood that's on any of your wooden racks. So much easier to kind of clamp, clamp them in place so that way they're not dangling and getting in the way of everything. 
So from there, I'm just going to uh, kind of go ahead and uh, start setting some of this up and we'll go from there. So uh, initially I've already filled this with water. So I'll do that. The other thing I suggest with these buckets, leave one corner up. It, it's nice to have these extra little lips on here because basically they hang over and help keep some of the dust out. But I clamp down three of the bins. Reason being, you want airflow. Airflow is what's going to allow it to go into the tubes. If you clamp it down all around, it can't suck in any fresh air to replace where, what water volume is changing. So that's why you want to do that. Um, yes, again, you're going to want to clean your buckets now and again because it's going to get dust in there. So, that's enough. Come up here. Top this guy in. Grab your tubing. So initially, like I said, primary thing, you want the quick release valve, that's gonna go straight to the bucket. You're gonna want that to go into your filter. There is another on off valve that I normally pick up. I did not get one this time, um, but that is another suggested item that I suggest you get. So simple enough, take your tubing, plug to that. And then from here, you're going to see that this just plugs right on there, you know, with extra effort because people are watching. <laughs> and it always works. And because they've got these little ridges on there, it helps from the tubing from pulling back off. So it's not going to just pop off on you. Okay. So that's the initial step. From there, I'm going to plug it up here. So, water comes out. We're good. We got water for it. Okay, so now I'm going to run this. Basically, I'm going to do a basic measurement. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's why I'm not whipping out the measuring tape or any of that fun stuff. But I'm going to run basically where I'm going to run the T square. So, for this first one, it's not much. Sharpen my knife. Okay. So, for this particular piece, I'm going to run to here. So, goes to the T square, T valve, whatever, like so. Okay, now, so from here, Remember the one T is going to go over to the water unit. So I'm just going to do another quick measurement, about the same amount of tube. Again, not an exact science, it's all gravity driven. So I say not science and then I say it's gravity, right? Go for it. So, uh, but in reality, nothing super crazy going on here. So. Next, the valve. So the drinking valve, you just plug that through there. Again, this is the clamp. Put this piece on. So the tube is gonna go on the opposite side of the bracket, like so. So that way it's basically between the tubing and the bracket. This prevents it from being pulled into the tub. Only the valve is available. So, I'm going to check my leg. All good. And solid. Okay. So, now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a general estimate here for tubing. That the valve's gonna the valve T is going right there. The next one's gonna come down to here. I'm gonna go about halfway down. And remember, it's gravity driven, so the higher up it is, means it's gonna feed downward into the bin. So that's gonna make it easier for you. So, like I said, just eyeballing it. It's super bonkers here. Like so. One. 
That's not right. Is it? It is. Good. I did want the right spot. Not totally crazy. Plug that bad boy in. Boom. T square. That's that's going to the next piece. And a T, whatever. I'm gonna keep saying it wrong, just so you're aware. So now basically from here. this, plug the water in, like so, and rats are looking like, oh, hey, water. Uh, so then from there, I'm just going to run, again, basic level estimate here, so, well, so, so that was about the distance, add a little bit for some extra leeway for the angle that the Nozzle comes in at, again, pop the nozzle in, like so. Bada boom, bada boom. Comes off the tee. Easy enough. So, again, once the clamps are in place, that'll hold it up here. Perfect. So, uh, anyway, I won't bore you with the rest of it, but basically at the end, once I do that, off of the last T at the bottom, you basically want to run a length or so, like that. I usually try and give it a little bit of length so that way if I have to drain into a bucket or something, I've got a little bit of wiggle room to move it around. But basically at that, I'm gonna plug this in like so, and it'll go to the bottom of the other T-square. Bada bing. So then whenever I have to drain it, again, like I said, pop that off, water should start flowing. So anyway, uh, so, Hopefully that was helpful, helpful for some of you guys um, and uh, anybody that's looking to find out what they need to get from Reptile Basics for a, a simple setup. Uh, that's that's the essential setup that I suggest. Um, like I said, the other piece would be the, the on-off nozzle at the top. I have that on a few of my racks and I prefer it because I can turn it off. Uh, that way I don't have to get the water flowing again. It kind of stops it where it is. And as soon as I turn it back on, it starts sucking water down again. So anyway. Uh, that's the only other piece that I didn't show here, uh, mostly because it didn't come with this order. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, <laughs> hopefully that helps. Uh, if uh, you have questions, uh, anything like that, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, Reptile Basics in the description. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, let us know if you appreciate the content. Thanks so much. Bye.